Welcome, and thank you for watching the Blue Week Celebration Butterfly Gardens for Kids, sponsored by the Olander Park System, a proud partner of the Green Ribbon Initiative. Butterfly Gardens for Kids. This video is going to focus on what is Blue Week, butterflies at Topps Parks, the butterfly life cycle, how to plant a butterfly garden, and a fun butterfly craft. Is Blue Week. This annual event is sponsored by the Oak Openings Green Ribbon Initiative and its partners like Tops to give the public a chance to experience the natural wonders of the Oak Opening region firsthand. Blue Week is named for blue species in the oak openings that reveal themselves in the spring, like bluebirds, blue herons, blue spotted salamanders, wild blue lupin, and the big blue stem grass. This year's theme is Wings at Work, and events will focus on the role that birds and insects play in the oak openings ecosystem, like the monarch butterfly. The goal is to showcase the beauty of the oak openings region and inspire home-based and collaborative conservation by businesses, organizations, and individual landowners. Learn more about Oak Openings Green Ribbon Initiative and see a full list of Blue Week events at oakopenings.org slash blueweek. Let's learn how to plant a butterfly garden. What do you need to make your own butterfly garden? You need plants. Over a butterfly's lifespan, they will need different plants for survival. A monarch butterfly needs a host plant for laying eggs and for food for the caterpillar, and then a variety of nectar plants as an adult. Let's plant a butterfly garden. Butterflies need host plants. Butterflies lay their eggs on plants. These plants are called host plants. When the caterpillar hatches from its egg, it will feed on its host plant. Some butterflies use only one kind of plant, like the monarch, which only lays its eggs on milkweed plants, whereas others use several to many different species. At tops, we have swamp milkweed, common milkweed, and butterfly weed. At Olander Park, we have a certified monarch way station. This site provides milkweeds, nectar sources, and shelter needed to sustain monarch butterflies as they migrate through North America. Adult butterflies need nectar plants. Native plants provide the best source of nectar and attract a variety of pollinators to your garden. They also promote a healthy ecosystem, can prevent erosion, and provide shelter for your pollinators. Native plants equal native pollinators. The native plants at tops provide nectar to butterflies and pollinators. Some of the most common butterflies you'll find at tops parks include the monarch, the Viceroy, the Painted Lady, a Cabbage White, Buckeye, and Tiger Swallowtail. Remember when you plant your butterfly garden, you want plant diversity. Choose a variety of plants that grow to different heights with a variety of flower shapes and colors that have different bloom times. You also want to provide shelter. Trees and shrubs properly placed will shelter your garden from wind, which makes it easier for butterflies to explore their location. 
They give valuable shelter where butterflies can roost at night or hide from predators. Keep in mind that many shrubs and trees are also caterpillar food plants. Don't forget about sun for your butterfly garden. It is essential. Try to place your garden where it will receive at least six hours of direct sunlight each day. Be sure to include a spot in the garden where sunlight will reach the ground early in the day. Last but not least, you need water for your butterfly garden. Nectar, dew, and tree sap provide butterflies with moisture, but puddles and moist dirt or sand are also popular water sources. Puddling stations can be as simple as a damp area of ground covered with sand. They are a source of nutrients too. You and your child can make a butterfly puddler together. Find a shallow pan or dish such as a plastic or terracotta plant saucer or pie tin. Fill the container with sand or gravel. Place it by plants to make a barrier from wind. Fill it with water to just below the rocks and if you want, add a little bit of ripe fruit as a source of nectar. Watch as I make a simple butterfly puddler. I take my tin and I add a little bit of gravel and sand and dirt into the bottom of the container. I try to spread it as evenly as possible. You have to make those butterflies happy. Oh, a little bit more here and there. All right, I think it's almost ready. Here we go. And then I add my little special rock. Colorful, it says I love butterflies. Then I add my water. To just below the gravel. Oh, maybe just a little bit too much. I'm going to add some extra. I think it looks pretty good. There it is. I added a little bit of ripe bananas and I think it's perfect. Are you feeling crafty yet? Let's try another butterfly craft. This craft explores the line symmetry of butterflies. Butterfly wings are beautiful examples of symmetry. This means that the wings on one side of the body match the wings on the other side of the body. Instead of the word match, let's say the wings are mirror images of each other. When a butterfly folds its wings upward, they are almost perfect matches in size, shape, as well as patterns. Let's explore this idea with this craft. The supplies you need are paint, a variety of colors, any that you'd like, a paintbrush, popsicle stick, scissors, glue, pipe cleaner, Google eyes, which are optional, you could always draw them on, paper. The butterfly outline that you see is available for download at olanderpark.com slash virtual programs, or you could draw your own. I have all my supplies ready, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my popsicle stick. I've chosen to paint it black, but you can paint it whatever color you'd like. Just make sure you cover the whole popsicle stick. Oh, I think it's about ready. There we go. I'm gonna put it to the side, and now I'm gonna take my piece of paper with my butterfly. I'm gonna take orange, because I want it to kind of look like a monarch butterfly. So I'm gonna put dots all along the one side, on the right side only you'll see the magic that is about to happen. So there it is. I'm going to fold the paper in half. Crease it a little bit, and you're gonna spread the paint around. Voila, look at that. And voila, it's dry. I waited about 30 to 60 minutes to cut out my Monarch Butterfly. Now, it all depends on how fast your paint dries. So if you put it on heavy, it might take a little bit. So I'm gonna go around the cutout of the butterfly. I'm not gonna worry so much about um, the antenna and the body of the butterfly, because we're gonna add that popsicle stick, and that's gonna create the fun. 
So there we go, I have my butterfly all cut out. Now I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna cut it in half the antenna. There we go, one, two, two dots of glue for the antenna, there we go, and two dots of glue for some Google eyes. We need a little bit of Google eyes, adds a little bit of fun. There we go, look at that. All right, now I'm gonna glue it onto the body of the butterfly and look at all of those beautiful butterflies. Look at the symmetry and the color possibilities are endless. Do you want to continue your exploration of butterflies? Try some of our favorite books that you see here. What is your favorite butterfly book? For the parents and adults out there, these are some butterfly guarded resources that you should check out. From the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, the U.S. Forest Service, the Holden Arboretum, the North American Butterfly Association, and a variety of YouTube how-to videos. So check out the links in the comment section below. One of our favorite videos is the Growing Wisdom How to Plant a Butterfly Garden with Your Kids video. Check it out. It is great. We want to see your butterfly gardens. Share a photo with us at programs at olanderpark.com. Don't forget to visit a Topps Park to see our gardens grow this summer. And follow us on social media as we post photos of our gardens and butterflies that visit us this summer and fall. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the park soon. This video is presented by Danielle Marino, TOPS Program Coordinator.